You may want to refine your lighting for a photo shoot after the fact. We've all been there. So I'm going to show you how to use Dodge and Burn to enhance your highlights and darken up your shadows to make your subjects pop and to make your photo more dynamic. Let's go to Edit and then the Pro tab, Dodge and Burn. You have the option to lighten and darken. It makes it really easy. The thing that I like about this is that you can control the strength of it before you even apply it and then the overall amount. We're gonna start with lighten because there's a few areas that I do want to target. I wanna brighten up the model's face, these reflections in the back here, but I don't want it to be too intense. So I'm actually going to decrease the strength to about 13. And you can use your left and right brackets on your keyboard to adjust the size or you can just use the brush size option here if you wanna just do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint over the model's face, which is perfect. It's lightening up just a little bit. And then we're brightening up her hand and part of her leg. And I wanna get the reflections in the back too, so we're painting over this area. And then I'm gonna to move to darken. And the brush size I'm gonna definitely increase because I wanna target more of this background area. So we're gonna darken up some of the background. I'm gonna decrease the strength to about 20 and just go in and kind of just darken any parts that are already dark. I wanna create more of a distinction between the lights and the darks. So I'm gonna go in here. So something like that. And we're gonna to toggle this on and off so you can see the difference that made just by adding another layer of dynamic highlights and shadows to this photo. So if there's a photo in particular you're looking to refine, one thing you can definitely do is pop out those highlights and darken up those shadows using Dodge and Burn.